Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to test the Nikon EM. I think the Nikon EM stands for Nikon Economic Model or Economy Model. I'm not so sure but whatever. So the Nikon EM is a very simple camera and you can only use it in auto mode or aperture priority mode or the manual M90 mode or the bulb mode you can test the batteries by pressing this tiny button and this is your advanced lever and your plunger this on the other hand is your plus 2 EV compensator button for very useful when shooting against backlit subjects and you have your ISO selector your usual rewind dial rewind knob and you can open it by and you can open your film back by doing this oops so what I have here is the Nikon 36 to 72 series E lens f3.5 series E lenses were made to be used with the Nikon EM because they're cheap oops let me take that off for you wait let me correct let, let me correct myself so the Nikon series E lenses were made not only to be used for the Nikon EM but they were made to be sold with the Nikon EM because they're cheap okay so series E lenses are basically AIS lenses and they can be used with any camera that has the AI <clears throat> interface okay so let me show you the lens mount of the Nikon EM so apart from the AI coupling tab you also have this thing underneath so where is the tiny hook okay there it is so there's a tiny hook over here that you can actuate with your finger so this that thing that tiny hook over here actually catches onto this thing when you mount it like so and it tells the camera what focal length or whatever information it needs from the lens so that will also help the camera meter and um, calculate its exposure meet whatever information that it needs for a good exposure it will also tell you it will also help the camera determine whether your shutter speed is too low or, or whatever when using any um, program modes or automatic program modes okay so that's it for the overview of the Nikon EM now for the testing part so the first thing that you would want to test is if it turns on like this so load the fresh batch of batteries and turn it on like this if it lights up then you know you know that there's a full circuit inside so be careful when mounting your batteries you want them to be mounted like this with the positive side facing up okay so this obviously won't work if you install the batteries in reverse okay 
so what else so the next thing you want to see is do you see that thing inside it's very hard to see within the viewfinder let's see if we can see it from the other end okay there it is there's a needle over there and that thing should move when you set your camera to auto okay, so I really would like you to see that needle moving but it won't let me let me zoom in okay whatever let's try it again from this side okay just imagine a needle moving inside of the of that thing like this if it moves as you change from a bright area to a dark area then it means that your meter is probably working okay how accurate it is, um, that's not something that you can do much about unless you open this camera up. So, yeah, that's one thing that you want to see. You want to check, see if the meter is alive or not. And um, what if the meat? What, what if the needle isn't working, but the light is turning on? Now, here's how you determine if you're meter is okay or not so make sure that it's at auto cock it and um, fire it oops like this I'll tell you what that beep is all about later okay Okay, remember that sound, okay? Now cover cover your lens mount like like so, so it doesn't have much light in there. See? If the meter is not moving, but your shutter speed is changing, then it means that your meter is probably working, but the needle is just stuck. So one more thing is, Fire it with a certain aperture and then change it to another aperture and it should fire exponentially slower okay so if you see that then your meter is working next where should I put this okay okay so next is check your shutter if it's working or not go to m90 and you sound like this the m90 mode is used for when the battery is dead and um, there, there's nothing much to control the <clears throat> excuse me there's not enough juice to control the meat to power up the meter so this is your manual backup M90, so it only fires at around 1 is to 90 of a second. Next, you want to check your bulb. Should be, everything should be working properly. Now, there's something that I want you to understand. The meter is decoupled when you, you select this mode and this mode. So, if your meter isn't working when you're at bulb and M, M90 modes, then it's, that's how it's supposed to be anyway. Now, if your meter is not working when you're set to auto, then there's something going on with this with this camera. Okay, next thing you want to check is the self timer. Okay. Let's just let's just wait for it to wind. So yeah, that means that. My, our self timer is working 
Okay, let's go back to that um, beep a while ago. So that beep is an indication that your shutter speed is too slow or the meter is giving you a reading that's beyond one is to one thousandth of a second which is the fastest, fastest speed of the Nikon EM so that's very useful for beginners so that they won't make a bad exposure or a shaky picture okay so that's what that beep is for so if you're testing your camera and you hear that beep then you're sure that something at least is working right okay now one more thing let's say that the needle inside is working but when you mount your lens like so and you change your aperture like this by turning the aperture ring and you see the needle the, the needle jump like this and so you have a, the jumpy needle problem or it doesn't change at all then your problem lies underneath this thing there's an FRE underneath here um, and you have to clean it up properly wait I have a big piece of dust in the mirror let me clean that up first okay so one more thing when you're checking the meter and your needle is moving properly smoothly like this and when you change your ISO and it doesn't respond, then let me move it back to you. ISO 100. Okay, then your FRE isn't working here, the ISO FRE. FRE is flexible ribbon something, I forgot. FRE, whatever. So it, it's basically a printed wafer of, of something over a very soft substrate, okay? And it sometimes gets corroded or fungi sometimes grow on top of it. And so you, you get bad contacts. And if the contacts aren't touching each other, then you get poor conductivity, then, then you'll have to clean it. And the only way to do that is to open the camera up, okay? So, what if you have a Nikon FE that, that's always in the mirror up position? Don't buy that, okay? It's better skip that camera. You know what? I'll give you a bonus. I have here a Nikon FE. That, that I use to salvage for parts. Okay, I'll show you what the FRE looks like. Okay, so hold on. It's inside a plastic bag. Okay, so this white thing you see over here. Resides under this thing, something similar is under that thing. Okay, so when you turn the ISO button, this thing happens. Okay, and what's happening underneath is this thing, there's a brush. And another brush over here and it rubs against this um, strip of contact so that's how you set the resistance of the ISO so if it gets dirty you'll have to clean this thing okay um, let's see if I can find the one for the lens now should be something here
Okay, so this one, besides, underneath this thing, this thing un should be underneath this thing, okay? So it has, just like the ISO resistor, it has a brush of, it, of its own over here, see? Now let me find the other parts. Okay. So, here it is. Okay, so this thing is supposed to be inside this thing here, okay? There's something like it inside there. So the brush that I showed you a while ago rubs against this thing and it tells the camera what aperture you're using. So if you, got, if you get a jumpy needle, when you change your aperture, ring when you turn your aperture ring then this thing is probably dirty you'll have to clean it with a q-tip and some naphtha or alcohol okay depending on your preferences okay just give it a good rub now a small rubber eraser would probably work as well but it may be too aggressive okay so I'll show you what's what's happening when you have a stuck needle so zoom out so this thing over here is the um, focusing screen and you have your prism over here and there's and your needle resides here okay like it does this okay so as you can see here, there are there's a strip of black lining, and that is um, desiccated foam. Okay, it used to be very soft and supple, but it's desiccated, so it's dry and tough right now. Feels like crusty leather. Okay, so that thing can crumble and um, or get sticky depending on how it corroded. And your needle may get stuck like this, okay? And so, to clean that thing, you have to open it over here and pick on this thing until it's gone. On my, on my particular camera, I will fold that thing without, the, without putting a new strip of light, um, foam lining because it's gonna... Because it's gonna get deteriorated anyway, and I don't, and I'd rather just open the um, focusing screen frame and blow some air rather than go through all that pain again of removing the foam lining. Okay, so that's it for the Nikon EM. What else did I miss? Okay, let's prop, let's open up the rare and see what's there. Okay. Of course, I changed all of the foam seals so they look really neat right now. Okay, so uh, one more thing when you open your um, film door, your counter should go back to S. Okay, and check this out when you um, advance your camera, it should be smooth. Okay. And one more thing. What the meter of the camera won't work unless the frame is set the, the frame counter is set to one. Okay? So I modified mine so it works all the time. Because I sometimes use the extra part of the leader 
and sometimes I can, I I, I can get a frame from that very very short strip of film. I know I'm cheap, so I want to get the most out of my film. Okay. So anyway, it won't work. So when you're testing camera, keep that in mind. So your meter will be dead before it gets to frame one. But mine is working because I modified it, okay? Just like this. Okay. So, okay. Up until frame one, your meter won't work, okay? So when testing your camera, you would want to advance it further than frame one. So that's it for the Nikon EM. It's so simple. I have it. I don't have much to say about it, to be honest. So yeah, I think that's it. See you. Bye bye.